गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन एंड नमस्ते चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर स्टेइंग सेफ एट होम हाउ डिड यू राइट योर एग्जाम्स चिल्ड्रेन आई होप यू परफॉर्म द बेस्ट आफ्टर एग्जाम्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आर चैप्टर्स थ्रू दिस वीडियो सेशंस कैन यू गेस व्हाट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ एडिशन चिल्ड्रेन यस इट इज सबट्रैक्शन the third chapter from your textbook let us continue today's session with the chapter subtraction children let us learn one more good quote by apj abdul kalam when you are wrong admit it when you are right keep quiet children let us start our session with a story here in this picture what did you observe children yes these are the animals in a zoo did you ever visit a zoo children yes you might have visited in summer season in your holidays in your vacation yes after visiting the zoo what will you do children you will be very excited to discuss with your friends family members yes children in the same way two friends pintu and jaggu visited the zoo in their holidays they came to know that there were 567 animals in the zoo last year but 136 animals died due to some illness this Yeah, they felt sad to know that only few animals were left alive. Pintu asked Jaggu, "How shall we find the animals which are still alive in the zoo now?" Jaggu answered, "It is simple to find, Pintu. If we subtract 136 from 567, we can find the animals left in the zoo." from this story both the friends learned that subtraction is the process of finding the difference between two numbers or quantities children these are the words we use while doing subtraction they are left minus reduce decrease taken away and difference let us discuss the terms used for the numbers in subtraction when we subtract a smaller number from a bigger number the answer we get is called the difference for example We subtract three hundred forty-two from five hundred seventy-six. Here, five hundred seventy-six is the bigger number, which is called as minuend, and we spell it as M I N U E N D. And the number to be subtracted from the minuend is called subtrahend. that is s u b t r a h e n d children after subtracting the smaller number from the bigger number what we get children we learn to find the difference between two numbers let us discuss about the subtraction of four digit numbers For example, we subtract one thousand two hundred thirty-five, which is the subtrahend from four thousand five hundred eighty-seven, the minuend. Step one: arrange the numbers in the columns according to their place values as shared on the screen. Step two: Start subtracting 
from the ones column that is 7 ones minus 5 ones is equal to 2 ones so write 2 in the ones column step 3 now move to tens column to subtract that is 8 tens minus 3 tens is equal to 5 tens write 5 in tens column step 4 now we move to hundreds column to subtract hundreds that is 5 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is equal to 3 hundreds so write 3 in hundreds place step 5 let us move to thousands column from hundreds column to subtract that is four thousands minus one thousand is equal to three thousands so write three in thousands place after subtracting we get the difference as three thousand three hundred fifty two children i hope you have understood how to subtract the four digit numbers. Can you guess what is regrouping is children? Yes, regrouping is nothing but to borrow while doing subtraction sums. As you learned in your earlier classes. Regrouping can be defined as the process of making groups of tens when carrying out subtraction with four digit numbers are larger. By discussing few examples, you can understand how to regroup even better. Now we are going to discuss about regrouping of numbers. First, we will learn how to regroup 110. Children, 110 can also be written as 10 ones. Isn't it children? Let us see how. 110 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here 110 can also be written as 10 ones. For example, here we are going to take 8 tens and Five ones. Here eight tens and five ones can also be written as seven tens, fifteen ones after regrouping. Children, did you observe here eight tens is written as seven tens after regrouping? And 5 ones is written as 15, that is 10 plus 5, as 110 is regrouped from 10's place to 1's place. Earlier we have discussed 110 is equal to 10 ones. Now we are going to learn 100 is equal to 10 tens. Let us see how. 100 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
children after adding them we get 100 again let us discuss this with an example for example 5 hundreds 110 can be written as 4 hundreds 11 tens here 110 can be written as 11 tens as that is 10 plus 1 as 10 tens is borrowed or regrouped from hundreds place and 5 hundreds is written as 4 hundreds after regrouping or borrowing. Children, I hope you have understood that 100 can is equal to 10 tens. We have discussed 110 is equal to 10 ones. 100 is equal to what children? 10 tens. And now we are going to discuss 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. Let us see how. 1000 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After adding all these, we get 1000 again. So, we have understood that 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. Let us discuss with an example. For example, 3 thousands, 7 hundreds can be written as 2 thousands. Seventeen hundreds after regrouping. I'll show you how. Here, seven hundreds is equal to seventeen hundreds. That is ten plus seven as ten hundreds are regrouped or borrowed from thousands place and three thousands is written as two thousands after borrowing or regrouping. Children, let us repeat the definition of regrouping again. Yes, regrouping is the process of making groups of tens in the place value while doing subtraction with three digit numbers are larger. Let us learn subtraction of three digit numbers with rule grouping through a story. Children, here your father bought 235 chocolates for your birthday to distribute at school and even at home. But you have distributed 146 chocolates at school. Now what do you do to know that how many chocolates are left with you? Yes, you will take a pen and paper to subtract or not children? Yes. 
you will start writing subtract 146 chocolates from 235 chocolates bought by your father. So, what you will do first? You will write the place values. So, the highest place value is hundreds, tens, ones. Now, write the larger number that is 235 chocolates that your father has bought. Now, you will subtract the chocolates you have distributed in the school. So, what you have forgot here to write children? Yes, to write the subtraction symbol. Now, can you subtract 6 ones from 5 ones? No, you have to do what children? You have to regroup which we have learnt already. Here, 5 ones is regrouped as 15 ones and 3 tens is regrouped as 2 tens. Now, it is easy for us to separate 6 ones from 15 ones. That is we get 9 ones. Now, can you subtract 4 tens from 2 tens? No. So, we have to regroup again. Now, 2 hundreds is regrouped as 100 and 2 tens becomes 12 tens. Now, it is easy to subtract. 4 tens from 12 tens. So, what we get after subtraction? 8 tens. Now, what is left children in the hundreds column? Here 1 minus 1 is left. So, we cannot write 0 before a number because 0 has no value before a number. So, how many chocolates are left with you? 89 chocolates. So, now you have 89 chocolates with you to distribute at home on your birthday. We have already discussed about the subtraction of three digit numbers with three grouping. Now we are going to learn about the subtraction of four digits with regrouping. For example, subtract 7264 from 9231. Here the highest place value is thousands. So write the place values first. That is thousands. Hundreds, tens, ones. Here, what is the larger number children? Yes, it is 9231, which is also called as minuend. The number to be subtracted is called Subtrahend. In order to subtract, you have to write the subtraction symbol. Now start subtracting from the ones column. Here, can you subtract 4 from 1 children? No. So what you need to do? We need to Regroup. So, here 3 tens becomes 2 tens and 1 becomes 11 ones. Now, 
it is easy to subtract 4 ones from 11 ones. That is we get 7 after subtracting. Now move to the tens column. Can we subtract 6 tens from 2 tens? No. So what we need to do? We need to regroup from hundreds place. So two hundreds becomes one hundred and two becomes twelve tens. So now subtract six tens from twelve tens that is we get six tens. Now move to the hundreds column. Can we subtract two hundreds from one hundred? No. So again we need to regroup. So move to the thousands column. Here 9 becomes 8 thousands and 1 here becomes 11 hundreds. After subtraction we get 11 minus 2 is 9 hundreds. Now move to the thousands column. Here we can we subtract 8 minus 7 children? Yes, we can subtract. So what we get after subtraction? We get 1000. So what is the answer children? The answer is 1967. What it is called children? It is called difference. Let us discuss one more concept that is subtracting from zeros with an example. Here we subtract 3482 from 5000. First in order to subtract we need to write the place values that is thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Write the larger number first children that is 5000. Next, write the number to be subtracted. That is 3482. Before subtracting, can you observe children? Here we have 0 in the 1's column. Can we subtract 2 from 0? No. Now we move to 10's column to see that can we regroup or not. Here also we have 0. So we cannot regroup. Now move to the hundreds column. Here also we can find 0. So we cannot regroup even now. Now move to the thousands column. Here 5 thousands can be regrouped as 4 thousands, 9 hundreds, 10 tens. Now start subtracting from the ones column once again. So here we can regroup from the tens column. So ten tens become nine tens and ten ones. Now can you subtract two ones from ten ones children? Yes. So ten minus two is eight ones. Now move to the tens column. Here we have nine tens here. Can we subtract eight from nine children? Yes. So nine minus eight is one. Now move to the hundreds column. Here we have nine hundreds. So can we subtract four from nine children? Yes. Nine hundreds minus four hundreds is 500s. Now move to the thousands column. Here you can find 4 minus 3 is 1000. So what is the answer children? The answer is 1518. Children, I hope you have understood the concept of subtracting from zeros. After seeing the video, did you learn many new concepts children?
yes they are subtraction stories regrouping subtraction of four digits with regrouping isn't it children yes now complete the given worksheet in your notebook thank you